In this tutorial, I will help you understand recalculating normals in Blender. So basically, every face in Blender has an inside and an outside. And so if the normals of an object are flipped, then that means that the faces are on the wrong side. So you can sort of think of it as like a t-shirt or a sock, and if a shirt or a sock is flipped inside out, then you can flip it back. So every face in Blender has an inside and an outside. Now why it's important to make sure the normals are flipped correctly is because there can be some different shading issues, modifier issues, and things like that if the normals are flipped incorrectly. You can see in this example here, there is a monkey head with a subsurf modifier, and half of the monkey head's normals have been flipped the wrong way around, and so there's some shading issues and some glitches. And you can also see on the monkey's ear, I have a subdivision surface modifier, but because some some of the normals have been flipped in the wrong direction, the subsurf modifier is having some pinching issues there on the monkey's ear. And this right here is from my procedural asteroid tutorial, links in the description if you'd like to check that out. But these two objects right here are exactly the same object, the only thing that's different is that the one on the left has flipped normals. And because I have a displacement modifier on this object, it doesn't look like an asteroid and it's all lumpy instead of looking like the one on the right. And if the normals are flipped the wrong way around, you can also have some different shading issues. So this is a sci-fi texture that I downloaded from 3dtextures.me, and here is a render with the normals flipped the wrong direction. But then when I flip them back around, you can see that now the normal map looks much more correct. And this can also affect glass shading as well. So right here, I just have a simple scene set up with the glass BSDF shader in Cycles Render. And in this render, the normals have been flipped the wrong direction. So if you look at the glass, you can see it kind of just looks like some kind of shiny metal, and there isn't very much transparency through the glass. But then I recalculated the normals and then rendered the exact same scene again. And you can see now it looks much more like glass. It looks a lot more realistic and the reflections are correct. And you can see through the glass. So as you can see, with these examples, it is very important that you make sure the normals are flipped correctly. So how do you know if you need to recalculate the normals? Well, one easy way to tell is using the mat cap. So you can see right here I have five primitive objects, and one of these objects have normals that need to be recalculated. And by looking at all of the other objects, I know that it is the monkey head, because with the mat cap that I'm using, the darker parts are over here, and then the lighter parts are over here. But on this object, this monkey head, you can see that it's been flipped around, so the shading does look a bit off. But there is a much more clear way to tell if you need to flip the normals. So if you click right over here, this is going to take you to the viewport overlays, and you can click on this button right here that says face orientation. And this is going to show you if you need to recalculate the normals. So you want to be seeing the blue color, but you don't want to be seeing the red color. If you go inside one of these objects, you can see that inside the object, the faces are red, but then when you go outside of the object, the faces are blue. So if the faces are blue, that is the outside of the face, and if the faces are red, that is the inside of the face. Another cool way to see the direction of the normals, if I click back over here on the viewport overlays, I'm just going to turn this off, and then I'm going to tab into edit mode on this object, and then I'm going to click right back over here, and you can see in edit mode we have some more settings, so I'm going to go right down here, and you can see there is this normals setting right here. So I can just turn on the face one right here, and then I can also turn the size up, and you can see that where the lines are pointing, that is where the normals are going, and so you want all of the these lines to be pointed out. Now this is not correct. If I like take this face and press shift to duplicate it, you can see this is going back in, whereas I want all of these lines to be going out. This sphere right over here, the normals have been flipped the correct direction. So if I tab into edit mode, you can see all the lines are going out, and so that is the way that the normals are pointing. So those are a few different ways to tell if the normals need to be flipped. The easiest way to tell is to just turn on the face orientation. So how do you recalculate the normals? Well, it's actually really easy to do. What you can do is you can just tab into edit mode on any object, and you can also tab in edit mode with two objects that'll go into the multi-object editing, and then you just press A to select everything. Then you just press Shift N. So Shift N is the shortcut key to recalculate the normals. And you can see right here you also have manual control. So usually Blender will do it correctly. You can see that it flipped these normals, but then it kept these the same. But sometimes, occasionally, Blender can get it wrong. So if you want manual control, you can just click on that inside button, and then that is going to flip it. So that's it for this video. I hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.